What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a spooky teen, because it's Halloween. Anyway, a couple friends and I, including Alex Use Splash, I'll make sure to link them in the description, go check out their channel as well, we decided to make some spooky teens and do some spooky battles. We have a list of everything that's legal. I decided just to pick ghosts from that list, but it's like ghosts, psychic types, bugs, dark types, some other spooky things like Blood Moon or Saluna is very scary. So we're just going to battle with these and see how it goes. Uh, low stakes, just having fun. I hope you enjoy. I did make this a rental code, so if you want to use it yourself for whatever, I guess it's legal in Reg Age. I doubt it's good in Reg Age. Uh, but go ahead and enjoy it if you want. But anyways, let's jump on into these battles. Alright, Covert Cloak Whim, Specs Typhlosion, Assault Vest Rotom, Scarf Guard of War with Trick, Life Orb Blood Moon, Normal, Sash and Deedee for Imprison Shenanigans. Okay. How do I want to tackle this? I'm a little worried about Blood Moon, and I'm a little worried about Typhlosion. I think I'm a little more worried about Blood Moon, though. Uh, having Sableye with Rain Dance is hilarious. So I actually I think Typhlosion isn't the way we're going to go. But I'm going to go Sableye. And then... Something that can hit the Ursa Luna really well. I guess that could be Basque Legion. Like, what do you do if I just Rain Dance Wave Crash something? I like that. Start out strong. But I could also use, like, the Croc. And then they just set Tailwind and use Blood Moon and probably knocks me out, even through screens. Annihilate could maybe handle it too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go hard with Basque Legion first. Save Annihilate for later in the game. And then maybe if I can get rid of their Tailwind, then Dragapult could work. Otherwise, maybe I want Sinistra. Yeah, maybe I want Sinistra. I could potentially switch the dimensions. But they do have the uh, Indeedee with Trick Room, but I think this is probably like a Whimsicott Ursa Luna lead. They got a good trainer card, too. Alright, Limbs Cutter or Saluna? Indeedy or Saluna. Okay. Eh, not much different. Alright, you gotta be scared. The Indeedy doesn't have Protect. The Ursaluna does. I think I just want a Light Screen and Protect now to try to bait out the Ursaluna's Protect. And indeed, he's not going to be able to touch Sableye anyway. So I think they're going to try to like protect the bear and hit the Basque Legion. Yep, perfect. Now they have switch-ins. I think a Rain Terra Boost Wave Crash probably takes bear even if they Terra. So they're going to, what, swap in Rotom here? Probably, or Whimsicott, maybe. I could... I mean, I've got Light Screen up. How bad could it be? I think I Rain Dance. Do I Terrastalize here? Might want to save Terra. I think I do it. Rain Dance. I want to make sure this works if they stay in and just completely blow up Ursa Luna. They are staying in. If it's a double protect, good play, I guess. I wonder if it's a double protect and... Trick Room? It's just a Terra. Okay, I'm glad I went for my Terra as well. I think... Mystic Water, Terra Water, Wave Crash in the Rain. I'm Max Attack. I think it's enough. They've got a Tailwind team, so I expect that this is Speed and Dusted Bear anyway. I think I get the KO. Making it rain. But we're not a Golden Gun. Alright, give me the KO. Give me the KO. Give me the KO. Come on, Bastion Legion. Yes! That's their Terragon. That's a lot of recoil for me. 
but I think behind light screen we can take the recoil plus expanding force. And then we have Sinistra to heal up a little bit. Oof. Did a lot of damage. Okay. Could be Whimsicott for Tailwind or Sun. It's Rotom. Rotom has Leaf Storm, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Discharge. Um, maybe I just bring in my Sinistra. Do up my Bastion Legion a little bit. If I need to. Could foul play in DD and just protect this turn. Yeah, that way I break a sash on Ndidi. Oh, Ndidi swapped. Dang. Well, maybe I catch something with foul play. Catching Gardevoir is not bad. And they are telepathy. Oh, this must be a discharge play then. No whims. No uh. No whimsicott at all. Interesting. Oh, I am worried that the Scarf Gardevoir is just going to be faster than my Swift Swim Basky Legion. I'm not particularly fast. That was okay, Chip. So Gardevoir can... Oh, I'm really fast, though. No, I think I'm faster. I want to save Sableye for later, so I think I will just go into Sinistra here. And wave crash the Gardevoir. Going into Sinistra is just, like, just in case I got my math wrong and Gardevoir can move first. I'll heal up a little bit and then behind light screen we shouldn't be able to KO. Plus whatever Rotom does isn't going to hurt Sinistra too bad. I wonder if I can take this recoil plus a discharge behind light screen. Discharge is kind of a weak move because of the spread. 80 and then the 75 reduction, that's like 60 power. Uh, I'm too low on health, honestly. Should KO. Yeah. All right. That's fine. No para on Sinistra, please. Cool. Thanks. That's going well. Um, I think I want Sableye. Yeah, the two of us can just bully down the Indeedee now. Can't really do much to us. Light screen. Last turn of Psychic Terrain, too. Ooh, that's nice. I guess I could Trick Room here. No, but I think I'll just Life Do and Foul Play the Ndidi. Yeah, they're gonna use their final expanding force, but with Light Screen, it's okay. Oh, that did nothing. Thunderbolt. That makes sense. I'm trying to do all you can to my save alive. Because that's the only thing that can hit my save alive. And the, because the Indeedee, it has Terra Blast, Expanding Force, and Prison Trick Room. And its Terra type is fighting, so even if they still had Terra left. Ooh, that did some damage. Alright, uh, let's Macha Gacha and. I guess I should throw foul play at Ndidi. Macha Gacha can miss. Yeah, battle's just cancelled. Alright, that's game one. Let's go Basket Legion. GG. Alright, I fully expect Bear to still be a problem. So I want my Basket Legion still. Somewhere. But it doesn't have to be in front. I think he'll be more prepared for it. I think he'll bring Sunny Day or Rotom in front. Something like that. In which case, my croc should probably be able to do something. Maybe I still want Sableye? Or maybe they delete Sableye as soon as possible. Hmm. If I had the croc and Sinistra... No, I, I want screens and croc. Croc can set up that way. Sinistra to heal up the croc. I don't see too much that threatens it. 
just have to make sure I'm careful about where I send my Terra type, because like Earth Power threatens me. And then if I Terra Fairy, I'm no longer resistant to Typhlosion's fire moves. Typhlosion also has Shadow Ball, which could be annoying. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going with. Yeah, Specs Shadow Ball would actually do a lot now that I think about it. Even if I Terra. But I'll get Light Screen up. There's nothing they can do to stop Sableye from getting screens. That's why you use Sableye to get screens. I mean, Grimmsnarl is more consistent because it has better stats. But Sableye, like, you can't prankster move it. You can't fake it out. Here's a Whimsicott Gardevoir. Ooh. Expanding Force, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Trick. Trick. That's what you're going to do. You're going to lock my Sableye into one move, huh? And then the Whimsicott is just... Moonblast, Tailwind, Encore, Sunny Day. <laughs> okay. Double fairy move into my Sableye, I guess. Cool with that. Let me Torch Song your Whimsicott. And set up Light Screen. Yeah, Whimsicott just swaps. That is okay. Ah, uh, here comes an Expanding Force. Alright, I'm glad I set Light Screen at least. And like, yeah, you're gonna have double expanding force next turn, I guess. I can protect, bring in Sinistra, get a little bit more healing. Hmm, that was a lot of damage. I think Gardevoir is stronger than Ndidi. I heal up, maybe I'll be alright. Also, Gardevoir is locked in to that move. Maybe I just protect the croc and foul play in DD. The play they would have into that is bring Whimsicott back in and encore the protect. I'm still gonna do it. Wow, good play, good play. Yeah, that's Whimsicott. Perfect play. All right, they're playing really well this time around. I gotta be careful. Psychic Terra's not gonna help, I did go for Protect, so they're covering for me just attacking with both. I'd like to see your Terra. I wish I had foul just foul played the Gardevoir. In fact, this time I will. Who swaps out first? Is it my Croc or my Sableye? I think the croc would swap out first, unfortunately. Yeah, so I can't double swap and get a sneaky heal on the croc. I could go out into Sinistra just to preserve my... Hmm. When the croc gets an encore on me. How big of a deal is that, honestly? That might not be so bad. I'm gonna go for Foul Play Gardevoir and I'm just gonna attack. They didn't go for Encore. Do I live this? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. That is as good as this turn could have gone. Get up out of here. Too bulky. Bye, Whimsicott. No more Encore Threat. Now my Skeledurge, it's not gonna, you know, live much more. But this foul play, now that you care, is gonna hurt me. Yeah, over half. Perfect. Indeedee's in KO range from Sableye. Gardevoir's in KO range from Sableye. Maybe I need to heal up my Sableye. Saluna. Yep, there's something that can actually hit my save alive. How's that light screen going? Five more turns. Beautiful. I don't need reflect for anything. So 
might be a swap hyper voice play, or would they go all in in Blood Moon my Sableye here? I'm gonna th uh, try Fork Song here. Oh, I do need to just Rain Dance though. Gardevoir swap. So either I, I might get this, even though I'm setting up Rain, I might get this Torch Song off. Depending on this is if this is Hyper Voice or Blood Moon. It's just Hyper Voice, okay. Sableye does hang on. <laughs> Amazing. That's perfect. Basque Legion's in a great position now. They don't have Terra left, so I don't need to commit Terra. I can just Wave Crash Ursa Luna. And since Ndidi can't touch my Sableye, I can freely Foul Play Sableye. Foul Play with Sableye into Ndidi. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. The Ursa Luna does not have Vacuum Wave either. It has, it has this regular moveset with Protect. Earth Power, Blood Moon. Plus two Torch Song in the rain wasn't gonna KO. Was a Luring Voice stronger? Maybe it was. But it, it didn't matter. They, they didn't click that. Okay, they don't protect her, Saluna. Perfect. That means I got that KO. I think Sableye takes the Ndidi KO here, too. And barring a crit, Fast Legion definitely takes this hit. Perfect. And. K.O. Perfect. Weirdness is gone. That means I can even Aqua Jet if I wanted. Gardevoir has to lock into a move or click Trick. If you click Trick, you're not attacking. I guess it's possible Basque Legion was a speed tie. Now what's the max speed on Gardevoir? 80, 20, 25. No, we're faster than every God of War. Okay, no need to get fancy. Wave crash, foul play, GG. Basque Legion, Mono Ghost taking down this strong Tailwind team. Let's go. Even though Tailwind never actually won. But I always had the threat of Trick Room as well. Basque Legion was really the only fast Mon I brought. And that's only fast because of the rain. GG, Zevin. Alright, exactly what my screens team doesn't want to see is Scrappy Decidueye with a scope lens and Super Luck Razor Claw Night Slash Honchkrow. So critting through my stuff is going to be the theme of today. Now if I have something that resists fighting in dark, I guess that would be Skeledurge after Terra. Fairy moves seem pretty good. I also have to contend with Zor, which means I probably don't want to use Dragapult. This Ghost Terra Blast, not the best if they have a normal type that I don't know about. Sinistra seems weak to a lot of the things, but I might want Trick Room. Um, I'm gonna lead Sableye. Maybe Sableye Skeledurge. Sinistra and back. Just planning to Terra the Skeledurge. Do I even bother putting up screens is my question. I mean, what else would I do? And also, if I get rain for my Swift Swim Basque Legion, that's another form of speed control. So maybe I bring Basque Legion as well? I don't hate that. That's also a Moxie Dragon Dance. Scrafty. That's just some cool stuff over there. Uh, there, there's their Basque Legion is Scarf Adaptability. The Zorak is Specs. The Volbeat is Covert Cloak. Only attacking move is U-turn. <laughs> they got that Cramorant. Love it. Grass Terra Blast Basque Legion too. Okay, we're, we're they're going for rain right out the right out the gate. Gotcha. All right, I would like to reflect, please. Um, they have Encore. So if I were to protect, 
That wouldn't be great. I'm really worried about, like, Rain Dance Wave Crash. But I think behind Reflect that should be a good idea. Uh, but they have to lock in as well, so maybe I just hard into Sinistra and put up Reflect. Ah, that's not the worst idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I wish I'd just put... I wish I'd just put Sinistra in front, I guess. I guess it could just be a flip turn, too. Alright, yep, they put up rain. It's gonna be some damage coming out. A little bit less with Reflect. I wonder if this was red and just going after Sableye. Nope, just flip turning the Sinistra. That's fine. That's not much damage. So now I have to worry about what they're gonna do. Uh, Decidueye can probably Oko my Sableye. Just crit triple arrows. <laughs> right through. Earthship Flu. <laughs> oh! Ooh, Honchcrow. Cool. Do you have to worry about Night Slash into Sinistra? That Night Slash is like a guaranteed crit, too. I kinda have to Terra here. I, I wanted to save it for Skeledurge. Unless I want to, like, sacrifice my Basket Legion or something. Oh, that's not good. That flip turn was actually way worse for me than I expected. Okay. Let's foul play. I think the that might be swapping. And I guess I will Terra Trick Room. I think, I think the uh, bug might be swapping. That's why I want to throw a foul play there. I also could have been in trouble if that Basket Legion was actually a Zork and they just like Shadow Balled while I put her Perplex. Yeah, there's U-Turn. Okay, good. I'm gonna catch something. I'm hoping to catch Basket Legion here. Hope Alex can't hear me from across the pond. Uh, nope, that's someone else. That's Scrafty. Okay, that can take a Foul Play. Night Slash, we do live. Good. Um, I guess maybe Sableye should swap. If you get hit by knockoff. I say I'm a little bit scared, but I bring in the croc. Knockoff shouldn't do too much. And then I just fish for a burn with Machigacha. I could life do myself. Uh, if Machigacha will do damage and heal me a little bit. I am risking my Skeledurge a lot by bringing it in here, though. Lots of pressure with that Night Slash. But I think Sableye might, like, not be targeted at all. I guess I could have Rage Powdered here. Keep Skeledurge safe. Just get two burns and it's 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 cooked, right? You got this, Sinistra. Sinistra actually took that crit night slash really well too. There's a night slash, Sinistra lives that one too. And it is knock off into skeleton range. Okay. Alright, now I've got a luring voice pressure. The Honchcrow is Terra Dark, it can't do anything about it. The Scrafty is Terra Fire. That can do something about it. But the Honchcrow is way more threatening. The Scrafty's not really doing damage. So I'll throw a Luring Voice there and Life Do. Try to keep these things healthy as long as I can. Get rid of the Critter. Nope, not attacking you. No Sucker Punches today. I'm trying to stay healthy. This is where my throat spray would activate, if I had one still. And just a knockoff from the Sinistra. We take that, no problem now. Yeah, you're not getting critical hits. We can take hits from you all day. I'm sure you're gonna want to Dragon Dance eventually, but. Okay, now we got a Terra Grass Basket Legion to worry about. Last turn of rain. 
two turns of Trick Room. Something's gonna terastalize. Could just redirect and hit one of them. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm a luring voice. The Scrappy. Oh. No, I don't know. Because if they tear a grass, then the Rage Powder doesn't do anything. Yeah, and I think they got the right one. I think they, I think they call, got the right call here. Tear a grass. Dang it. Alright, good play. Can't fault a good play. Paragraph Rage Powder won't do anything. Uh, I might get the burn. Matcha Gotcha, and you cannot burn the bug, though. Who cares about that? If I burn Basket Legion, I'm happy. You also have to lock into a move, whereas you can't really hit Sinistra if you use a water move. Oh, and I got the burn! About time I got a burn. I hit, what, three of those? Got one burn? That's actually better than us. Oh, that did nothing. And wave crash. Into Sinistra, though. Oh. I would have lived that even with the burn. I could set rain and do that at my croc now, but I think I live behind reflect and a burn. I think I'll Torch Song you. Heal up a little bit more? Yeah, that seems like the right thing to do. Okay, never mind. I guess I'm going to use Machi Gacha again. Since it's not doing anything to you, that makes sense. And then I don't even hit the little bug. Alright. Well, with Covert Cloak, I wasn't going to burn the bug. Hoping for a little more health back than that, but whatever. And now I can't reset Trick Room. But you let me get a full power fire move. There it goes. Perfect. Yeah, this next turn I can't Rage Powder. And I can't Trick Room. No, that Encore is pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm in a good position, though. Know. Now I want Rain set up so I can use my Basket Legion. I already used Terra, so there's nothing to stop me from clicking Luring Voice, except for Encore. And I'll get into my Sableye, so I can set Rain. If I need it. I, I think I'm in a good position on this game one. Crits can still happen, but the guaranteed Critter is gone. At least it wasn't Decidueye and Hunt Crow, it was just... Oh, thank you for the Rain! I was, I was trying to do that. Dragon Dance? Well, if you live, you get confused now. Because that's what a luring voice does. But you don't live there. Not after the plus one. I don't know how bulky that Scrafty is. Scrafty's a pretty bulky hunk. But yeah, I don't see a U-turn bug finishing this game here. We'll just foul play. And move on to game two? Nope, they're playing Encore games. <laughs> Into the same light. Good, okay. You got what's going on here. She, oh! Hold on, not quite enough. Save life finishes the deal. Save life finishes the deal. Alright. Good game, Alex. I'll see you in game two. Alright, here we are in game two. I think I have to do the same sort of deal. But I would like to try to save Terra for Skeledurge, since Skeledurge was so good, I feel like it's gonna get targeted even harder this time. I could lead Save Lies to Nistia, try to get Trick Room. Then bring it in. My Dragapult does not have you. 
But I like the same four. If I put them in that order, that might be a little stronger. I guess I'm still worried about just a Zora Shadow Ball turn one. That would be pretty scary. That'd be really, really scary. What would I have, what would I be able to do about that though? Lead Dragon Darts? Do Dragon Dart stuff, and they could just Tailwind Shadow Ball. GG. Hmm. Guess then I want to lead the Croc and Terra Fairy right away. Sinistra to heal it up in the late game. And then Basque Legion. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it this way just to cover for that Zork. That Shadow Ball Spec Zork is just terrifying to me. If I get through turn one and I can reveal the Zork, then it's not as hard. But not knowing it's coming and then like potentially putting up the wrong screen. Like if it's a replay of turn one, but then they just had Zork instead of Basque Legion, I would be in a lot of trouble. Okay, Scrafty and Punch Pro right from the start. There could definitely be a Zork. But I think Fairy Terra saves me enough from the physical moves that I could actually set Light Screen here. Light Screen plus Fairy Terra could save me from Zor. Fairy Terra alone would make Night Slash not so much of a problem. Then Dual Wing Beat would hurt. But that's not guaranteed to crit both times. Scrafty can probably knock off my item. Not too worried about that, yeah. And the Hunch grows Terra Dark, so it's not getting around this with Terra. Here we go, Skelly Dirge! Did I mention this is my partner from Paldea? When I first played this game? I love Boy Coco. There's a Sucker Punch! Okay. No big deal. Fairy Terra coming in clutch there, saving us. And that was Zork! I knew something had to be. That's so much damage! Oh my goodness. That did so much damage anyway. Oh boy. Well, at least I get my throat spray, but that was... Okay, that's way too much damage. Uh, I think Sinistra will put me out of range. Oh, and here's Decidueye, too. Oh, boy. Yeah, I need to get into Sinistra. Um... Took a little over 100, I'll heal 50. Yeah, I should be able to take one hit. If they double into Skeletor, though, I can't live. So maybe I bring in Sinistra. Sinistra eats up whatever protect the croc this turn, and then I can redirect the Shadow Ball next turn. Yeah, because the Encore isn't on the field. I can also even get Skeletor out of here if I want to. Now, just reading this and Shadow Balling my Sinistra for an Oko, would that Oko through Light Screen? I don't know. That Shadow Ball did so much to Skeletor. We're gonna see a Terra. They've got Terra Poison Decidueye? Yeah. Okay, so they're worried about me surviving, sending a fire move their way. Fair enough. I might have done that. I like to see the Terra, but I don't like that Terra. That's... that's rough. Oh, good call on the Shadow Ball. Sinistra does live. Hopefully we have enough health to live whatever the Decidueye does too. If it's even attacking the Sableye slot. No, it's just Leaf Blade. Okay. Well, that's cool. Now that means I can actually... Well, no, I'll go down to the Shadow Ball. But I can redirect the Shadow Ball. Or I could get Croc out of here. Get Sinistra out of here too? Lose Basque Legion? No, nah, that's not the play. Basque Legion's really important in this endgame. So I need to Rage Powder. I don't know if 
plus one torch song is gonna KO either of these. If anything goes down to that, it would be Zor. So I'm gonna target the Zor down hard. I'm gonna get Shadow Balls. This is probably gonna drop, I think, based on the damage. Yeah. Gonna get Leaf Bladed. A Leaf Blade crit would do a ton. I never got Reflect up either, so even if it doesn't crit, it's gonna hurt. That doesn't look like a crit. Okay. And we do take out Zor. And we know who's last. I'm not too scared of Scrafty with my Skeledurge. Sableye definitely has to fear that Decidueye, though. Does Decidueye have Sucker Punch? No, this one doesn't. Scrafty has upper hand, no sucker punch. Okay. Okay, so I think we're alright. As long as I can get rain up. I get rain up for my basket legion. I can wave crash one thing. The other thing KO is my basket legion. And then it's Sable IV the world. Nope, that doesn't work. Well, the owl can only attack one thing here. Actually, I could rain dance and protect. Yeah, then if you do take out Sableye... Are you gonna take out Sableye? I don't think you would. This way I can get Rain and Reflect if you don't, and I can get Rain and Basket Legion in if you do. Take out my Sable on. Okay, it's a Dragon Dance from Scrappy. That makes sense, Basket Legion will still be faster. And it was Triple Arrows. Does this KO? It does! That's actually really good. That was a crit. Okay, that's actually good for me, believe it or not. I wanted Sableye to go down there. So now we can go into Basket Legion. Scrafty's knockoff and Drain Punch shouldn't be able to take out my Skeledurge from here. The Owl. Oh, the Owl has Protect. That's my one problem here. If I Wave Crash the Owl, Scrafty KOs my Basket Legion. Croc takes out Scrafty. But if I get crit leaf bladed. He could protect Basque Legion, calling this the owl to protect. Oh man. Come on, owl, protect for me. Protect! Do it! No, he didn't do it! Oh no! I could have wave crashed! It's a double into Basque! It worked! It worked anyway! Phew! Oh, that was close. Yeah, this should definitely take out Scrafty. And then I'll have Wave Crash into the Owl. Perfect. And my dog saw something else. Yeah, now we can just... What's stronger here? 150 Wave Crash? 150 last respects. Or 120 times 1.5, that's much more. Alright, wave crash it is. Plus I have Mystic Water. And my strongest would be Shadow Ball. This should KO, I would think. Yeah. GG's, Alex. That was fun. <laughs> Decidueye was so scary. I mean, it, it needed the crit. It only had a 50 50 shot of getting the crit. I think it needed the crit to KO there. So it was a hard call to make. Could have been anyone's game there at the end, though. GG. Welcome back. Thank you very much to Alex U. Splash and Evan for participating in this with me. It was a blast. I hope you enjoyed too. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then go over to Alex U. Splash's channel and subscribe to their channel as well. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright. Peace.